Now at 430, after two years of deaths and hospitalizations, the COVID-19 pandemic is far from over. So California is declaring the virus endemic. Governor Gavin Newsom has said we are now transitioning to an endemic from this pandemic. But mm -hmm. what exactly does that mean? KCL 9's Christine Lazar spoke with doctors on the front lines to get some answers for mm -hmm. us. We've all heard the term endemic, but do we know what it means? It's always going to be here. It always is. It's permanent. Uh, endemic is when everything is over, but I think we're going to be living with this forever. When we're talking about endemic, people automatically assume the first three words, E-N-D, the end, it's over. And that couldn't be further from the truth, according to the experts. It's really about a sense of how widespread the problem is and how urgent it is. That's really the main difference between a pandemic and an endemic. Dr. Edward Jones Lopez is an infectious disease doctor at Keck Hospital of USC. He says COVID isn't going anywhere, but how we view it is changing, more similar to how we view the flu. Where every year we need to get a vaccine to try and um, protect ourselves against the circulating variants, something very similar similar to COVID, um, and then uh, be careful with uh, people who have symptomatic flu, and some, many of them uh, stay home, they miss work, some of them uh, use masks. Uh, et cetera, et cetera. Dr. Jones Lopez says there are three groups that will continue to be of concern. The vaccinated who are high risk or elderly, children too young to be vaccinated, and those who still refuse vaccination. Because they can enhance transmission. And by enhancing transmission, uh, also contribute to the generation of new variants. And what about the new subvariant of Omicron? Could that push things back into pandemic status? What we can appreciate, though, is that in our population here in the United States, there's a significant proportion of people who've been infected as well as vaccinated. So, you know, how that new variant will impact us time will tell. Both doctors say they do support easing up on some restrictions, such as allowing school children to remove their masks outdoors. Christine Lazar, KCAL 9 News.